All right, so this is a easy flow fertigation unit. I am Louie with EnviroScape LA. We're gonna give a quick walkthrough on how to go ahead and fill this easy flow fertigation system up. When you remove this guy from the valve box, which is on surface, it will be uh, located subsurface. We're gonna go ahead and pull it out. As we notice right now, it's empty because it is completely light. If you notice this color tubing right here, it is clear indicating the absence of fertilizer. So when that valve is opened up, it will then take on a blue tint. Being as how there's no fertilizer, it is clear. So very simply, to go ahead and remove these guys here to get into the tank, we need to shut both of these quarter inch ball valves into the off position. When they're on, they're in that position there, parallel, off would be across. To go ahead and get these guys off, they are made of compression fittings, if you notice here. There is a washer. You will simply put that in your two fingers there, apply the pressure. Very important, keep both these in the off position. If not, you will get soaking wet. Go and apply some pressure there, comes right off. These are the same type of fittings, the compression fittings, that are on most refrigerators for the ice maker and the filtered water. So we did that once on one side. We're gonna do it a second time on the black side. Very, very simple. Always set these guys aside. Very important when we put them back on. The thread for the top of the Easy Flow, simply remove it, counterclockwise, of course. We would then, at this point, look for the O-ring. It will usually stay in the cap. Sometimes it stays right here. Very important in keeping this system completely pressurized and no leak. So make sure it's in there. If not, set it aside into another important place. It is a gallon and a half to fill it up. You can simply use your easy flow funnel that we have there. You would then get the appropriate amount of fertilizer. You would then go ahead and install it to the maximum capacity that you can. I'm not going to do that now for time's sake. So again, fill it up with as much fertilizer as you could possibly fit in there. Once it is filled, you see that blue fertilizer line to right about there. The next very, very important step, go ahead and take advantage of the water that is always in these lines here. And we're gonna go ahead and fill this bad boy up with water. It is very, very important that you get all the air out of the system. If you allow air to be uh, pressurized in there, it will cause extreme pressure and could potentially blow out some of our gaskets that are on the tank, as well as the fittings and valves. We wanna be able to bleed all that air out that is in the line. Of course, it says it here in English and in Spanish. So once we have water topped off to right there with fertilizer, we will then simply put this guy back in. Always take care to make sure that black O-ring is in there. No need for channel locks or pipe wrenches, anything like that. Simply nice, strong hand tighten is enough. You don't gotta get He-Man on it. The next step, we have two hoses here. One is black, one is clear. You always wanna remember this little guy here. Put that washer back on because that's how we take, uh, comes in handy taking it off. If not, taking it off when you're removing it to refill. So washer goes on, it's a compression fitting, just slides right in and it's nice and secure. We'll do that one more time for the other side there. Apply the washer, insert the quarter inch tubing, clear to clear, black to black. At that next point, we then open up both these valves once it's fertilized and then we will open up our Rainbird, three quarter inch uh, anti-siphon valve on that side, and we would see the fertilizer go through the system. So that is how we know that we have fertilizer running through our landscape. Every single time we're irrigating, we're also fertilizing, and we're doing it responsibly. We're not allowing any of that fertilizer to hit the, the streets, sidewalks, curbs, and then eventually ends up the Pacific Ocean. So here, 100% of the water by utilization of the Rainbird drip uh, technology is being applied directly to the roots as well as the fertilizer. So none of it is contaminating our rivers, streams, so on and so forth. So just another tip, installing easy flow uh, fertigation with the Rainbird drip irrigation. So when you think sustainability, think Enviroscape LA.